just start by saying that I am not a musical theory expert by any means. Although throughout the years I have picked up on some of the more exotic scales that Blackmore likes or liked to use and I thought I'd show them to you starting with the harmonic minor in this video. You might have noticed that I played all the licks in the intro in the key of A even though not all the licks are originally in the key of A but I thought it would be just simpler to play everything in A and then not have to jump back and forth between different keys. So in this video we are just gonna have a look at A harmonic minor. And the good thing about harmonic minor, and this is why it is the first scale I'm talking about, is because it's basically just a minor scale with one modification. So here's the minor scale, the natural minor scale. <laughs> And here is the harmonic minor scale. As you heard, the difference was just one note. The seventh note of the scale wasn't G, but the minor seven, but it was G sharp, the major seven. So here's the major scale. As opposed to this being the minor scale. So all you have to do is just raise the seventh in the minor scale to play the major seventh and then you have yourself a harmonic minor. Because it is just one semitone away from your root note, it's really good to just slide down from your root. something like this, just to get the tonality in your head. All right, so now that you know that uh, the harmonic minor is just a natural minor with a raised seven or a major seven, you can just readjust any of the A minor scales that you know. Or if you, if you, just, if you didn't know any, any of them, you just take this shape and apply it or start it from a uh, all the A notes you know on the guitar. So for example, and so on. So yeah, that's basically how you can quickly readjust your minor shape to play the harmonic minor. And I think we should talk a bit more about the leaks one by one. Starting by a leak from Black Masquerade, which is on the a, well last Rainbow album from 1995. Uh, I actually really like the album. I don't think it gets enough love from fans, but I, but I dig the whole thing. And Black Masquerade is probably my favorite. And uh, this leak is my favorite leak because it walks you through the uh, harmonic minor in the uh, starting from the 12th position. I don't really think that this is the position Blackmore played it in. I watched the DVD and he starts from here. Anyway, but, uh, but I choose to play it in this position to, well, kind of arrange it in, in one, one hand's reach. So. Um, you don't really need to shift positions that much if you start from the 12th of the A fret. Now, but there are a few different routes you can go from here to here. So the first one is this is kind of the three note per scale way. You can also do it like this. Or you can also play it like this. And if you want to come down on this, uh, this shape, you can use Troy Grady's Pop Tart Slick from the Cracking the Code series. That's an Ingway Lick, I think. So 
So these are kind of the shapes, roots or notes that you should play in this position. I think just, just walking through or running through uh, of these different uh, paths up at the 12 section, you can quickly memorize it and come up with licks on your own. So let's proceed. You know what, let's go to the third lick and that was uh, from Death Alley Driver uh, in the same key of A. And this is basically just a just a well, neoclassical run. <laughs> This would be the whole scale, but back the strip is this much. So the trick with this lip is that when you're alternate playing, you're actually finishing on a downstroke. So that means that in the in the repetition, you should start with an up upstroke, but that doesn't really work. So uh, in that instance, it's easier if you just shift down the pick. I think this is called this is what it's called uh, economy picking. So when you're finishing on a downstroke on a string, you're proceeding to the next string with a downstroke as well instead of the upstroke. <laughs> thing you have to keep an eye out for when you're playing this lick and it might be a good idea to use a metronome to to get your speed up to where Blackmore plays it. Let's jump back quickly for the second lick which was originally from Snake Charmer in the key of E. <laughs> Now we are playing it in the key of A. So it starts out on the harmonic minor scale, but then it shifts back to the, the minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic, of course, uses the G note, which is the natural minor 7, uh, and the harmonic minor uses the G sharp, which is the major seven so that's kind of just a fun way to mix them so if you're improvising with the harmonic minor scale feel free to revert back to the natural minor or the minor pentatonic that's uh, I think one of the best things in Blackmore's playing is that he's really moving freely between scales just uh, by hearing something in his head and he just follows that he doesn't get stuck in in shapes or scales or moods he has the ability to use them freely and I think that's what we and you should strive for as well. So so yeah, uh, this, uh, this lick from Snake Charmer is not using the layout or the pattern that we, that we looked at in the other two licks. Obviously the notes are the same, it is just rearranged to another shape uh, starting with string change already for the second note. So this is another great way of playing the harmonic minor. Blackmore use it a lot, so just play around with these two different shapes or layouts and see what licks can you come up with. And then try to use them in a solo that you're playing or jamming, improvising. So the last lick is from Spotlight Kid and it's a rather fast one, so I slowed it down a bit and uh, I'm gonna play it now even slower. <laughs> This only uses a small section of the harmonic minor scale. So this right here is actually uh, an E major chord, an E major triad. Everything on this is from the harmonic minor scale. So that 
that's a fragment or shape that Moore likes to use a lot. So get that in your hands, start jamming with it. So that's all I just wanted to quickly show you this improvised video. I didn't think about it too much, just sat down and played a few licks and tried to uh, explain how the harmonic minor is built and try to give you a couple of shapes, a couple of patterns to use and uh, well, memorize so you can jam it with. As I said, I'm not a musical theory expert by any stretch of the imagination. This is just something I picked up listening to Blackmore and my advice would be is to just get it in your hands, get it the tonality in your head and just try to effortlessly and sparingly utilize it because if you use it too much it's gonna be more Malmsteen than Blackmore which is definitely not a problem but uh, I'm guessing you're here to learn how Blackmore uses these sort of things so yeah listen to songs like Stargazer, Stormbringer, uh, Snake Charmer and uh, Black Masquerade, mm, live improvisations Mm, anything well it, it pops up pretty often <coughs> in Blackmore's playing so I think now that you know what it is you can identify it in a lot of songs um, let me know in the comments if there's a specific lick you wanted to learn and was not featured in this video and I might show you on my Instagram page how to play that so thank you again for watching